Damn, so close to a perfect 4-0 Grand Slam sweep on Friday night. Here on the video report, I give you three complimentary plays. All easy winners. I told you the Astros and the Dodgers with Verlander and Wood would hook up in a classic pitching duel. 2-1 final there. I told you I didn't understand how the Red Sox were an underdog last night at home against the Yankees after blowing them out in the series opener, considering the Yankees have been playing so poorly, considering Severino had an earned run average over 8.5 in his previous four starts. Rick Porcello, complete game one hitter. Red Sox win 4-1. And then... A third complimentary winner as I cashed in last night with Arizona on the run line, bouncing back from their Thursday night loss to San Francisco by doubling up the Giants in a 6-3 win. But then, as I was personally going for winning day, number 25 out of 35, personally going for Rays the Bar 29 winner, number 7 out of 8 in an 8-day stretch with the Oakland A's as a 120 home dog on the run line against Detroit, the A's only win it one to nothing. One little run stops me from personally making money, stops me from a 4-0 sweep, but you know what? It doesn't stop me personally, no. Because I'm undeterred, because yeah, every now and then you're gonna lose, and what an incredible run it's gonna be and has been. So I'm gonna come right back because I remain the hottest damn handicapper at the site and I don't believe in stepping away from the table. And again, every now and then, you're gonna lose and that's okay. So today I go for winning day number 25 out of 36. And today I've got raised the bar, a 20 dime winner number seven out of nine. And it's an underdog cause this puppy, I love it. And just like all the other raised the bar 20 dime plays, you get it for half price by using coupon code RAISE, R-A-I-S-E. And among the other featured discounted plays today, you would be crazy if you didn't consider Steve Budin's Cali Cartel because with their 50 dime releases, my God, have they been on a nice little roll here over the past five weeks. Today, 50 dime baseball winner number 14 out of 18 over the past five weeks, it's an undervalued evening chalk, goes on the early evening card, one of the multitude of games going in the 7 o'clock Eastern hour. They're coming off a win last night on the Red Sox, plus $1.20. You get it for $70 off by using coupon code CALI29, C-A-L-I-29, which means you get it for $29. And all your other discounts, etc., are over on the home page. So let's get to today's complimentary plays following last night's 3-0 sweep, which, to be honest with you, let me just tell you right now, what is my uh, complimentary play run? Because I lose track of it every now and then. The complimentary play run here, 50 and 29 with the last 79 releases I've given you here in baseball. Um, let me take a look at the Texas Rangers tonight against Baltimore. They've opened up this series against the Orioles, who, let's face it, the Orioles have traded away half their team in the past two weeks, right? Uh, the Orioles, a team that's 44 games under 500 on the season, an Orioles team that is 13 and 42 on the road, and they've certainly played just as bad as their record has indicated in the first two games of this uh, series at Globe Park in Arlington, losing 11-3 last night, losing 17-8 on Thursday. Rangers going with Mike Miner. I was very impressed with the way Mike Miner pitched in his last start this past Sunday at Houston. Miner's home road splits, well, listen, at home he's got a 3.55 earn run average in 11 starts. On the road, 6.5 his earned run average in nine starts. And the reason I was impressed with how he pitched in his most recent outing, again, it was at Houston. He has not pitched well on the road, but he really shut down the Astros with six innings of four hit, two run ball, and he struck out eight. Now he's coming back home where he's pitched much better all season. The Rangers are on a roll offensively, and you lay the dollar fifty here and take Texas. I think it's a solid play. Another complimentary play: Minnesota minus a dollar twenty-five on the run line at home tonight against Kansas City. I mentioned a couple days ago in a video report after backing Carlos Carrasco of Cleveland. Uh, how important it is always to look at pitchers' home road splits. We just talked about it briefly about Mike Miner. A more drastic case to be made, uh, just like Carlos Carrasco from Cleveland, would be Jose Barrios for Minnesota. Now, did Barrios just get rocked in his last start at Boston? Sure did. Four and two-third innings. 
That's all he lasted. Needed 106 pitches to get those 14 outs, and he gave up three runs and nine hits. But that was on the road. Take a look at his numbers pitching at Target Field as opposed to pitching on the road the past two seasons. Um, in 10 road starts this season, 3-6 and six with a 4.3 earned run average. In 12 home starts, 7-2 and two with a 2.99 earned run average. Last year, on the road, 5-7, and 5.17 ERA. At home, 9-1, 2.41 ERA. It's not an abnormality. This is a trend, guys, when it happens this year. It happens last year, just like Carrasco the other day. This is a guy that you can count on for pitching substantially better, either on the home field or on the road. Some guys, it's just one of those things. Some guys, you find the abnormality, in Carrasco's case, is a guy who pitches much better on the road. That's bizarre. In this case, you take a guy who's pitching much better at home. And I'm going to go with the Twins here uh, over the Royals, laying the one and a half runs at a cheap price, minus $1.25. Listen, the uh, Royals are going to go with Birch Smith. It's going to be his fifth start, 7.47 uh, earned run average. In his last start at New York, he lasted just four innings, gave up five runs and walked three. This, I said, is going to be his fourth start of the season. His first start came after 24 relief outings, and ironically, uh, it came against Minnesota. Um, he did not pitch well in that July 11th outing. Uh, three and a third innings, gave up seven hits and four runs. But listen, I have to play devil's advocate and also be honest with you. That was also going to be his first start, like going back to the 2013 season when he was with the San Diego Padres. He missed the 2015 and 16 season because of a number of uh, elbow and arm miseries and stuff. So it was a long time coming. Uh, this is a Kansas City team that's 41 games under 500, 19 and 38 on the road after losing last night 6 to 4 in a game that was delayed multiple times, didn't finish till the wee hours in the morning. So automatically, I think that benefits the home team here in the second game of this series. So again, I'm going to go with Minnesota in this one. Minnesota on the run line, Texas as the home chalk. Those are the two plays for your Saturday card. Good luck, everybody, and talk to you again on Sunday.